Greetings to us and welcome to another video. So uh, today I thought I should talk about something that people should keep an eye on when it comes to the current uh, WCQ uh, season. Um, and it's something that uh, it has been discussed in the past. It has been discussed for multiple years. But I feel like now is a really good time to bring up. And it's the existence of this card right here. Cyframe Gear Delta. So for those who don't know what this card does. Um, essentially it's basically Cyframe Gear Gamma. But instead of negating monster effects. You're negating the activation of spell cards. Um, so why am I bringing up Delta and why am I bringing it up now? If you're, if you look at this current format that we're at right now, you probably already know that the more popular decks in the format are Runic Variants, Kashtera, Sprite, Dragon Link to some extent, Vanquish Soul for some extent, um, and we have a few rogue ones that are climbing up up there but they are probably going to be popular because they're a really good choice for gnats and that is something like Rika plant uh, gold pride punk is another deck um, another one that we can talk about is menadium like uh, menadium uh, we can talk about scareclaw like, just because it's an engine that is played in the menadium deck um and why am i bringing up all of these decks as you can see on the board they all play really key spell cards that uh really bolster their engine and makes them play the game so having a card that exists that can stop a lot of that it's really really important like uh, if you look at Runic for example, like they only have two copies of Runic Fountain now instead of three. So getting rid of a fountain on activation with Delta is pretty much key. They cannot uh, chain uh, Hugen to protect the fountain because you're negating the activation. So that's very something very key. So that makes it so you take away the fountain altogether. Uh, like negating runic tip can be also important also negating other key runic spells if you obviously if you don't control a monster uh if you're playing against kashtira like stopping the activation of theosis uh from resolving or just taking care of a planet or taking care of a birth uh could make a huge difference uh in the game because usually when they start to do their more optimal combos with kashtira they they play with any or all the combination of these three cards um sprite um this is not as important however uh with sprite starter being a two uh just negating one of them is really really strong because it kind of makes them like lose a card uh, another one that we can talk about is Smashers. Granted, we're talking about Smashers specifically not for your monsters, but for other cards that you're playing. Like for example, if you're playing a back row deck or you're activating another card that you want to want for it to stick on the board and they try to Smashers it, uh, Delta is really good against that too. Um, like... Uh, it's n like again, it's not as powerful against Sprite than in like the Runic and the and the Kashtira deck, but it is an option. Uh, Dragon Link always plays with Ravine and Boost Sector. That those are two cards that you all always going to see in that deck. Yeah, another card that you see sometimes around is Chaos Space, and Delta is as strong against Chaos Space because they're losing another card, so they're losing advantage. Uh, we can talk about duality. Um, I feel like this card is going to be played in some shape or form. And not in Dragon Link specifically, but uh, in other decks. Pretty much like Branded, for example. And like uh, d resolving Delta on this is really, really strong. Because basically you're taking away two cards for the price of one. And you're gaining a body. So uh, that's really strong to note. Um, Brandon Fusion and Brandon Red. Uh, sadly, uh, you are all, you're negating the activation, so 
uh, it makes it awkward if they have branded lost and it also makes it awkward if they have multiple copies of these cards in hand uh, however like just stopping branded fusion is strong enough to like even end their turn like we already know about that whenever we see try to see ash blossom and sometimes if you just want to stop branded altogether uh, just having another card you can pair up alongside the ash blossom that is really really strong against them uh, is pretty much like uh, really really strong like branded opening is another card that you can negate uh, with Delta that can really stop their plays uh, branding high spirits uh, just to give other examples um, Vanquish Soul um, this deck doesn't play with spell cards a lot however they do rely on some key cards uh, for consistency such as like Prosperity, Rhoda, Durando, like Stake Your Soul um, so just having a card that can stop all of those is also really, really strong. Um, and take note, all of the decks that I'm mentioning right now are real meta relevant decks. Like all these decks, you will see these decks at high tier events, like in some shape or form. Um, just to name, uh, just to mention like uh, stuff that uh, are going to be relevant for Delta. Um, like the plant deck is not as relevant but it is a really 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 good choice for worlds it's a really good choice for a high tier event because people just don't know how to play against these cards and delta is a really solid card against these um like just stopping a sun sewing from resolving or stopping con con it could just win you the game uh manadium is not as relevant but it is a deck that can play a lot of key cards uh like obsession clarium rifovia arrival like just stopping just stopping all of those on the spot uh could really be important uh, i already brought up uh gold pride punk like if you stop this card from resolving you're pretty much slowing the deck down like a lot um Against Sky Striker, this deck is not as popular, but it's still around. Uh, that you de Delta pretty much negates the entire deck, um, but you pretty much want to use it against Engage, probably. Um, uh, the Adventure Package. Uh, I feel like with the reprints uh, coming in Battles of Legend, uh, this is way more affordable for some players, so you, it might just be more popular. So. Uh, Right now, as I'm recording this video, outside of Cypher and Deer Delta, there is no real other hand trap in the game that can stop Rite of Armas here uh, from actually resolving. Uh, Faithful Adventure is a different story, but uh, I'm talking specifically Rite of Armas here because it is the play starter uh, involving this uh, Brave Engine. Um, so that's it for like meta decks and trends. Let's talk about uh, other cards. Like, um, it can negate triple tactic talents, and uh, that's really, really strong. Talents is a really, really good card this format. It's a card that you will see in a lot of people's decks. So just having a hand trap that can stop this from resolving is can be really, really strong. Uh, if you're playing a back row strategy, like Lightning Storm and Feather Duster are two really big blowout cards. So just having a card that can negate those as well is also very very strong um and i'm pretty sure there are missing like a lot of more options besides the ones aforementioned right now um like there we can talk about like lesser like lesser relevant decks that also have spell cards in it um but but yeah like with with all the meta decks having very key spell cards in their deck for uh to make it so their decks function i feel like uh delta is a really really obscure card that just hypothetically can just even win you a game if you use it correctly because not many people are going to be prepared for this
um, especially aside from your gamma at one, you kind of uh, some people still are playing gamma with driver in some decks. So just having another target for a driver that can you that you can use as consistently in this format without worry uh, worrying about like drawing the fifty percent between these. Uh, yeah, it's, I just felt like it was something worth talking about. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, keep practicing and keep doing.